Hello everyone and welcome to the seventh episode in the series where we create Hello everyone and welcome to the seventh episode in a series where we create a design system in Figma called FDS. In this episode, we'll be creating border radius and width variables. And what are borders? Well, borders outline the edges of UI elements like buttons, cards, and images, and vary in roundness, radius, thickness, width, and style, solid or dashed. Border radius is the roundness applied to corners of a UI element. It's used to soften its appearance and create a more friendly and approachable user experience. In this example, you can see how adding border radius made the design on the left, which looks corporate like Microsoft, look more consumer friendly like Apple on the right. And if we scroll down, we can see that here where we've got these sharp edges on the secondary button, the two input fields and the login button. And everything over here has got rounded corners, making this one look a bit more friendly than the one on the left. So corporate sharp, friendlier, rounded. And for naming, the t-shirt size border radius variables handle the roundness of corners. Pill makes the left and right sides of rectangles round and circle, well, turn squares into circles. And here we go, we got the name on the left hand side, with circle having a value of 50%, pill having a value of 999, large, 16, medium, 12, small, 8, and extra small, 4. Okay, border width refers to the thickness of borders and determines how thin or thick the lines appear. Adjusting the width can add visual prominence and emphasis to the element and communicate to the consumer that an interaction state has changed. In this example, you can see how the border of an input field becomes thicker when its state changes from default to focused. And we can see that here where the default input field has a one pixel. And when it's focused, the border not only changes color, but also changes to two pixels. And border width variables are named like the rest of the family with widths from one pixel to eight pixel. The 1.5 pixel width is used for icons and we're going to define on high resolution screens. And in our table here, we've got the name and its size. So XL has eight, large has four, medium has two, Small is 1.5 and extra small is one. All right, let's create our border variables. So let's open the variables panel and then go to create collection. We're gonna call this one border and we're gonna create a variable with a number and we're gonna do the border radius set first. So let's type in a circle. This can be 50. Now you can't add 50% yet. So hopefully Figma is gonna update variables to allow for percentages here. So we can have this represented uh, correctly in design and engineering, but we can tell the engineers that this can switch from 50 pixels, which is what this value was here to 50%. Now we're gonna go shift enter to duplicate that. Name this one pill and go 999. Now it's set to 999 because it wants to be the most you can ever add to anything. So you can imagine a rectangle like this having rounded corners. Doesn't matter what size that rectangle is, you still want that to happen, right? So let's crank that right up. Let's go shift enter again. And we're gonna add large at 16. Shift enter again, change this to M at 12. Shift enter again, change this to small at eight and extra small at four. Okay, let's select all of them, then right click and go new group with selection. Call this one border radius. Then we're going to duplicate the group and change this one to width to create our width variables, which will make it easier for us. So we can just right click here and go delete variable, rename this one to extra large, and then we're just gonna change the values here to these values. So let's add eight, then four, two, 1.5, and then one. Okay, we might do one more thing. Let's just rename these as radius and width. Because we've got that hierarchy here, border radius and border width. And then just close the panel and zoom into this card here and let's apply some of them. 
So I'm just going to select the entire card and then I'm going to go and add them. So I'm going to scroll down here to border radius and this one's at 16 so I'm going to select large. I'm going to go to all of these and all I'm doing here is holding down command shift and then clicking on them which should give me the selection of all of those rectangles then go and add 12. So let's find 12. There we go. Cool. And when you hand this over to an engineer and they go into dev mode, they're going to be able to see that here. It's got 16. Border radius is radius L at 16. Fantastic. Let's get out of that mode. And if we come down here and select the input field and its focus state, we can add the 12 there. So let's just scroll down and find border radius at 12. And I'm going to be doing an update to the uh, series where we go through scoping. Right? And so that's going to allow you to go into corner radius here and just see the border radius variables. And the same thing with the spacing or any other variables just going to turn up where it's supposed to go. So look out for that one soon. But for now, we're going to go down and add a two pixel width to this field. Now, as you can see, when I hover over it, you can't see that little icon that allows you to add variables to things. So if I break this apart, and you can see that there. So what do we do? Okay, you have to right click and then go apply variable. So let's go down to width and select two. So that's gonna add the variable to the outline. If we go into strokes per side, you can see that here. Now that means you can have different ones per side. So we could even change this to eight and see that coming like that. And again, if we go into dev mode, we can see that we've got border width M at two pixels. And then we've got border focus as the somatic variable along with radius M at 12. And that's it for borders. In the next episode, we'll update our type styles with typography variables. I hope you're looking after yourselves and each other. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.